Hello again, it's Flick back at you with another creature feature. We will once again be diving into the nebulous sector of the universe with this creature, the Red Streak Labrodius. First, let's talk about inspiration and foundations of this guy. While researching the sunfish, I learned how they are quite susceptible to parasites and need to be cleaned by other entities to stay healthy. So I wanted to create a companion creature that would live on the Mola Mola as it travels through space eating dead skin, parasites, and affected tissue to help keep the Mola Mola from dying from some deadly disease. Scientifically speaking, the Red Streak Labrodius has three real-life animals that influenced its design and its behavior. Probably the most obvious would be the alligator. But other than the look and the overall body shape, this fictional creature doesn't share much else with its real counterpart. Because the Red Streak Labrodius takes on the role of a cleaner fish, I spent most of my time exploring behaviors of the cleaner fish and finding different examples of specific fish that help clean others for nutrients. The two I chose to focus on were the lump fish and the blue streak wrasse. Red Streak Labroses are small, roughly 1-2 to two feet in length, brightly colored, and survive as facultative cleaners. When not attached to a client, the Red Streak Labrodius live in reef-like areas among asteroid belts and debris planets. These spots are home to a number of species as they provide shelter from the dangers of open space. The red streaks' bright coloring make them easy to find to help draw in clients. From there, they will attach and only return when it's time to reproduce. The mouth of the red streak labrodes serves two functions. First, it's used to help attach to any other species like the mola mola. This acts as a suction cup that prevents it from sliding around too much. Second, it eats any harmful materials off the client. It looks for anything that may cause damage. This includes dead skin, parasites, and infected skin. Shark claws, plus their suction mouths, help them to quickly detach and move freely. They are mainly stationary, but move as needed to find more infected areas. Thick plates provide a degree of separation between them and their client. In this case, attaching to the mola mola, the cleaners would need to be able to handle a lot of heat. Red streak labrodes strategically choose if they want to cause minor harm to their clients in a method known as cheating. They may ignore an infection which will cause the client to become itchy and search for more cleaners. This lets them find mates to reproduce. If things get overcrowded or if there is no infected areas to survive from, they may choose to eat healthy parts of the client for survival. This will cause their host to look for new ways to get rid of the passengers. Red streaks are rather weak on their own. Entire swarms can cause total consumption of their clients, and negligence can cause harmful infections, but typically they choose to keep the status quo. They don't have many predators, and the relationship between client and cleaner is a peaceful one. When they are unattached, their colors are bright and easy to spot, but they become duller in nature to help blend in to avoid being targeted while cleaning. When red streak labrodes are ready to find a mate, they cause their client a minor infection. The client, now desperate to find relief, will find the nearest reef. All the Brodies have the same ability to change genders at will to make any pairing work. The bigger of the two will adapt to the female role. Once she's ready to lay her eggs, she will cheat the host, find a spot to lay her eggs, and take care of them until it's time to find a new client. And there you have it. That is the Red Streak Labrodi. If you like this creature, check out my others here on this channel. Consider giving a like or sharing this video or even subscribing to my channel if you want to see more. Until next time!